Welcome food and fitness lovers to Tina's Ageless Kitchen. I'm Chef Tina Martini. You might know me as the medicine chef. Welcome food and fitness lovers to Tina's Ageless Kitchen. I'm Chef Tina Martini. You might know me as the medicine chef. Well, fasten your seatbelts, everybody, because we're taking off to Thailand. So we're gonna start with a little mini crab cake and later we're gonna use that as a garnish, some kind of garnish, huh, chefs? On our vegetable jungle. So let's go ahead and add some of our crab meat. And I just used some canned crab. You can buy claw meat in the can, it doesn't matter. Whatever you like, back fin, king crab, or as I have, a little mix of both. So we're just gonna put this in and this is just a real simple recipe kind of a dump and stir we're going to put some cayenne in now the crab is naturally sweet now crab is really high in selenium and selenium is a mineral so we know that that's going to help improve our health all the way around all right, a little bit of white pepper. Now, why white pepper, chefs? Well, the reason is, is because the crab is sweet and the white pepper is more floral than black pepper. So it's gonna accentuate that sweetness. I've got a little bit of vegan Worcestershire sauce. I've got a little bit of finely chopped purple onion or some shallot would be beautiful as well. Now, onion, allium compound or in the allium family, and we really know the seriousness of that medicine. There's some really really strong cancer fighting properties and we're knowing more and more. Now what is an allium? Well we've got garlic in the family, leeks, purple onion, shallot, all of the above great medicine. Now I'm adding some gluten-free panko crumbs to act as a little bit of binder and texturizer. It also absorbs a little bit of the moisture so our crab cake will end up nice and firm. So again a gluten-free panko crumb. Now let's add just a little bit of mustard. Actually, let me get a spoon here and that will be better. I'm using a little bit of Dijon mustard and mustard is colored with turmeric and we're gonna get back to that when we make our curry just a little later in the show. Fresh parsley, color and flavor and freshness. Now the Harvard School of Medicine tells us that epigenin, the phytonutrient that's in parsley and cilantro, which we'll also be using later, is a very good hope in the fight against ovarian cancer. So good news, we think that herbs and spices don't really have medicine, but remember that an herb like parsley is really where the original medicine came from. All right, I'm just gonna grind a little bit of salt Salt. And chefs, remember, we always want to season each layer as we go. Now, how about some bioflavonoids with our white wine? And I'm just going to add just a tablespoon or so, again, to add some freshness and some pop, along with our lemon juice, vitamin C, bioflavonoids. Remember, vitamin C oxygenates the blood and it mends damaged tissue. So it's one of the best anti-aging things we can use. So we've added a little bit of Tabasco and Worcestershire. Let's go ahead and add our binder with our egg. Now eggs, they used to have a pretty bad reputation, didn't they, chefs? But we know now that two very powerful antioxidants, zeaxanthin and lutein, protect our eyes from sun damage. And that's very important in the fight against macular degeneration, the number one cause of adult blindness in this country. So we really want to get an egg or two in a couple times a week. We're just gonna mix that up thoroughly. Now this mix needs to chill a little bit, chefs, so that we can get a nice firm uh, mix to make our crab cakes with. So we've just got this all mixed up. Now you can pop this in a colander or in a mesh sieve and let a little bit of the liquid drain out or you can chill it overnight and it will be nice and firm for you to use. So that's it with our crab mix. I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator and let it chill and firm up and we'll be back to make our cakes and pop them in the oven. 
All right, chefs, we're back with our global dining. And now we're going to make our vegetable jungle, which is really a Thai coconut curry soup or stew. It's very nice with lots of veg. So you know that we've got lots of medicine, lots of phytonutrients to offer. And we're going to heat up a little bit of grapeseed oil. Now remember, grapeseed oil is the only oil we know of that actually goes in and acts like a roto rooter and removes plaque from the arteries. Now what I've done here is I've taken fresh ginger, a little bit of water and garlic, and just made a puree out of it in my food processor. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that into the hot oil and we'll get some fragrance. All right, remember chefs, when we're creating authentic Thai and Asian cuisine, we want to always heat our spices up and infuse the oil basically so that we're getting all those flavors worked completely through the dish. So the garlic ginger paste is going to get real aromatic here in just a moment. Now ginger strengthens the digestive system, cleanses the colon, and balances the hormones. Now you'll hear me talk about balancing hormones quite a bit because a lot of illness is connected to imbalanced hormones. And yes, men, I'm talking to you as well, not just the ladies. All right, so this is getting really fragrant. Let's go ahead and add in some cardamom pods. And again, we're just going to infuse the oil. I've got a cinnamon stick here here. I've got a little bit of cumin. We'll just go ahead and use our other cinnamon stick and our bay leaf to scoop that in. And then just a little bay leaf going in. Let's set that aside. And again, heating this up and getting the oil nice and fragrant. And boy, mm, I wish you could smell that aroma. It's really getting nice in here. Now, once the oil is completely infused with all of this beautiful herb and spice mixture. We're going to then take out the whole spices because of course we can't eat those and we're going to add our vegetables in. So give this just another minute. Let me tell you what I have already prepared in the bowl here that we're going to serve our coconut stew over. This is a mixture of brown basmati. It's also got some red hyponica and some wild rice in it. Now we're talking about hormone balancing and how that contributes to our health. And here's the thing with the whole grain is that they can contains something called lignans. And lignans protect the hormone receptors and balance our hormones so that the receptors don't get damaged. All right, so we've got that already cooked. I cooked it in a little bit of broth. Uh, vegetable broth is great here and a little bit of herbs for flavoring. Now remember, the wild rice here is not really a rice at all, chefs. It's a seed. And getting back to the benefits of seeds, nuts, and things like that, heart protective fats. Okay, so I've got my oil infused here. Now I'm just going to use a slotted spoon and I'm going to take out the whole spices, the bay leaf and that kind of thing because they're not edible. So just go ahead and clear that out. Now we've got some really nice brown bits in the bottom of the pan and I'm going to use a little bit of water to deglaze the pan. So just pour that in and then we're just gonna work those brown bits off of the bottom. And that's just a lot more flavor. Again, we always want to remember that we're flavoring each layer as we go. All right, so we've got that in. Coconut milk, now I'm sure you know that coconut milk is a big trend and we're gonna get back to this in just a minute because we've got a couple things that we're featuring the coconut in. And of course that just adds even more authentic flavor. Let's saute some onion, and that's in our infused oil. Now the allium compounds, of course, really great for reducing and removing trauma from the body. And also, it just gives that great sweet flavor once we've cooked those onions down and adds just another layer to that stew. So I'm just softening these a little bit. Now over here you see a lot of different colorful vegetables. Cauliflower is a cruciferous, one of the most powerful weapons we know against cancer. What else is a cruciferous, chefs? Well, we've got broccoli and things of that nature. So whatever you like, but today we've selected cauliflower. Flour. We've got green beans, which are kidney medicine, and we really want to keep our kidneys strong and functioning. We've also got some red fingerling potatoes that we've cut up, and I shocked it in just a little bit of salted boiling water. Let's go ahead and add that to our pot. I'm just going to move this for a minute and make room. Look at all of these beautiful veg. 
and again, focusing on a rainbow of color. All right, we'll add some more in a minute if we feel we need it. I'm gonna throw in a little bit more carrot for sweetness. And then let's go ahead and add that coconut milk that we spoke about just a minute ago. Our coconut, big trend right now and a well-deserved one, really loaded with something called lauric acid. Lauric acid is one of the most powerful weapons we have against viruses. And you know that we haven't made much headway in medicine with virus. So this is one of the most powerful weapons we can to keep those viruses down. Now, what is a virus? Well, oh, hepatitis is a virus. Um, we've got HIV, which is a virus. And now lauric acid has been shown to reduce viral load in somebody afflicted with these illnesses so much that the virus at times cannot be detected by a blood test. What does that mean? That means that when we reduce the viral load, our immune system can kick into action and really help us to manage that illness. All right, so we've got all this going. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the Worcestershire, a little bit of white pepper, and I'm going to add a little bit of fresh diced tomato. Now, diced tomato, really high in bioflavonoids, and that's one of the most powerful anti-agers we know. But what else do we know about tomato, chefs? Well, the raw tomato, really great with vitamin C and that kind of thing. But what the big news is, is when we cook the tomato like we're doing right now, the lycopene, and I'm sure we're all familiar with that phytonutrient by now, increases by 300%. So in our raw tomato, about 27% lycopene. We know that lycopene protects the heart it reduces sun damage by as much as 40%. So here's the big news. We love our men. And lycopene is really looking like big promise in curing prostate cancer. So what I do for the men that I love is I have them take two tablespoons of organic tomato paste every day, and that way you're sure that they get their lycopene, which again, ladies, that protects our heart as well as our skin by reducing the sun damage as we spoke of earlier. And it really looks like lycopene just might be the cure for prostate cancer. So if you love your men, have them do their tomato paste. Remember, we absorb the lycopene better with a little bit of fat, and we've got some fat in the coconut milk. So as always, we have a very well-balanced meal that's not only delicious, but it's going to work synergistically with your body to maximize your fight power. I'm gonna let this simmer for just a few minutes so our vegetables are nice and tender to taste. We're gonna pull the crab cakes out, clean this up, and I'll be back with an amazing roasted pineapple milkshake to top it all off. All right, so our crab mixture that we made earlier is all set up and nice and firm from the refrigerator, and you'll see that some of the liquid has drained off as well. I've already made two little mini ones, and we're gonna use them as kind of a garnish today. Of course, you could make nice large crab cakes if you wanted, and this would always be terrific for a crab burger as well. So just another alternative to something nice and yummy on a bun. All right, so I'm just gonna form a little uh, mini crab cake, as I said earlier, a little patty and now I've got the gluten-free panko crumbs that have already been seasoned with a little bit of paprika for color and I'm just gonna let those crumbs set up and again absorb some of that moisture and then we'll just put those down on our prepared pan we've got enough for one or two more let's go ahead and whip up just a couple more here so nice and moist and then they're gonna be really crispy in the oven so it's a nice texture as well as the sweet flavor. Let's throw those on top of your panko and then let's just pat those down so they stick to the cake. And you do want your mix to be nice and tender so don't try to dry it out too much, chefs, or your cakes are gonna end up dry and we definitely don't want that. I think we can make one more, can't we? Let's just grab the rest of our mix here out of the sieve and then make another little mini. Wouldn't these be cute sliders? I think these would be great little sliders. All right, so we're putting those down and getting those crumbs nice and tight on the cake. Do add a little pressure, chefs. You do wanna kinda of sink those crumbs into your meat. All right, and there we go. Let's put those on the sheet pan that's already been prepared. And then if you'd like, 
you can give just a little mist of some cooking spray of your choice just to give it a little extra crisp. And we're just gonna quickly just mist that over the top. The crab cakes are ready to go into the oven. We're gonna bake them just until they're golden brown and the pankos had a chance to crisp up. We'll be right back with our vegetable jungle and put that over our beautiful rice. All right, I've got something really different for you now. A roasted pineapple milkshake will be our dessert to go with our Thai curry. I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter in the saucepan and melt that, and we're gonna caramelize some pineapple. Now, what's good about pineapple? Well, all kinds of good things. Natural sweetness, for one, and we've also got something in here called bromelain. Now, bromelain reduces trauma in the body. Uh, papain, also from papaya, is used to reduce inflammation. So our tropical fruits in general are very high in enzymes. Now, what's an enzyme? Well, enzymes play a big role in our health. And in this instance, not only is it going to take inflammation down, it's also going to help us digest our food. Now, remember, chefs, it's not so much what we eat, although that does matter, of course. It's how much of the nutrients we're able to absorb. And the way that we increase absorption is by keeping the intensity intestines moist, drinking lots of water, and eating fiber. Pineapple happens to be very high in fiber. Now, we're just going to move that around in our melted butter, and we do want to put color on this. Remember, sometimes we just want to soften things, but in this instance, the actual coloring and caramelization of the natural sugars, with the help from a little bit of butter, is going to add another layer of delicious richness to that milkshake. Now, you're probably thinking, a milkshake on a health and fitness program? How can this be? Well, it has to do with how the ingredients are made. If you're concerned about a little bit of butter, which you really shouldn't be, we're knowing more and more about using butter and its benefits, but if you are, you could just use a little bit of pineapple juice and caramelize it in its juice with a little bit of the brown sugar. Now, I've got some very rich vegan sugar, and what that means is that no animal processes were used to enhance or change the color of the sugar, which is great news. We want things minimally processed, and I think you and I would agree on that across the board. Now, this happens to be very dark and high in molasses. Now, molasses is a great source of iron, a very important nutrient that helps our red blood cells move out into our limbs and give us the energy that we need. So I know that people are thinking that sugar is really not such a good thing if we're health conscious, but it's the type of sugar, it's the type of sweetener. If you didn't feel comfortable with the natural dark brown sugar like I'm using here, what would be another choice, chefs? We could go for agave, and agave really helps with keeping the blood sugar level. And we're talking about a glycemic index, which most people are familiar with. And so on the glycemic index, the agave is one of the lower ones. Coconut palm sugar would also be a good choice here. And we've done a lot with the coconut today. Now, we've already talked about the lauric acid and its ability to reduce viruses in the body. What we need to touch on now with our coconut is the medium chain triglyceride. What in the world all these words I know. What that means is that the fat in the coconut milk is actually a medium sized chain. Now for instance, a steak and the saturated fat in beef is long chain triglyceride. The body isn't really able to use the long chain triglyceride for quick energy like the medium chain triglyceride. We are knowing more and more about the medium chain triglyceride. It's heart protective, it um, adds a lot of benefit to the skin, and again, the body's actually able to turn that into some energy. So it doesn't sit around on our belly and our hips, and that's always good news, isn't it? All right, so the pineapple is softening. We're getting some nice nice color, and I do want to take this down a little bit so that it blends up beautifully. Now, 
you and I have talked about texture before, and you know that I prefer my food with a little bit of texture. I'm not really into baby food. So we really want to think about providing texture for more excitement on the palate. And so I don't want to really blend the pineapple all the way smooth, but I am going to crush it up just a little bit. So the more that we caramelize it and soften it, the better we're going to get with the end result in our milkshake. All right, so what I've got here is the pineapple caramelizing. I've got some pineapple juice here. If you've got a juicer, make fresh. Remember that canned juice has to be pasteurized for safety, and that does tend to kill the bromelain. So if you want to maximize those enzymes that we spoke about earlier, try to press your own juice or get a cold pressed juice, which is available on the market. All right, I've got my super blender over here. Let's go ahead and talk about the ice cream. Now again, this is vegan, so the milkshake itself is going to be a beautiful vegan treat for us. Now this is the coconut milk and it is pure coconut bliss and one of my favorite products to use in general. All right, so we're gonna put the vanilla bean and the coconut pineapple, vegan coconut bliss in. Oh yeah, bliss by the pint. A little bit of the pineapple juice, just enough to make the blender go round. The coconut milk, and we've put the coconut cream in there with it. Nice and rich. You could pop a little bit of vanilla in here. Our pineapple is beautifully caramelized and we're just gonna add that in. Now be careful chefs when you're working with hot liquid and hot sugar particularly, you can get burned. So I want you to be very careful we're going to vent this as we blend it and just kind of stir that up a little bit. I don't want to take it too far. Again, I want a little bit of texture. All right, so our milkshake is all blended up. I smell those crab cakes and everything is ready to go. I'm going to clean this up and we'll come back and take it all to the plate. All right, and we're back and ready to take it to the plate. Remember that we eat with our eyes as much as we do our mouth. So we want everything to look beautiful. We've got our multi-grain rice pilaf here that we've already prepared, and our vegetable jungle is ready to spoon right over the rice. Now, I like to go ahead and give a generous portion of the vegetable, and look at how beautiful that color is. We've got tons of medicine in here, our cruciferous, our abscisic acid, our green beans for our kidney medicine, and I'm just gonna continue to spoon just a little bit of that gravy because you know that the rice is going to absorb a little of that sauce. So you wanna make sure that you give your diner enough of that delicious coconut milk sauce. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cilantro over. Now cilantro, just like parsley, very high in a pigeon in, and it looks like a big promise on the horizon for the treatment and cure of ovarian cancer. Our crab cakes are golden brown, perfect and crispy, and I'm gonna gild the lily, and I'm just gonna set that little crab cake right on top for a little garnish, and your diner can cut that right into the stew. Not to mention our beautiful and healthy vegan milkshake, roasted pineapple makes it all the more special. Bromelain keeps that inflammation down. We've got powerful hormone balancers, powerful medium chain triglycerides, our selenium in our crab, which is showing to be one of the best types of cancer fighting equipment we can put in our mouth. All right, you're set and ready. I hope you've enjoyed your trip with me to Thailand. I certainly have enjoyed my time with you. And remember that nothing is more important than your own resolution to succeed. I'm Tina Martini. I'll see you next time when it's time to be back in the Ageless Kitchen. Here's to your health.